you're selling a home and uh, you know, there, there's things that happen there, like, a, like we call them judgments, obviously, at the end of the day. If a judgment pops up and an insurance policy has been, admit, been administered, then what, what that really means is that buyer is now covered from being liable for that, you know, whatever that may be. So I guess in so many words, we issue an insurance policy that's kind of one and done, and it protects buyers and sellers from any further, you know, uh, uh, problems on down the road, legal problems and things like that. And it's just funny because, like I said, we're it, it, on the title side. We we, uh, we we kind of get a lot of those you know questions. It's like, what you guys just did the closing? System. You just did the closing? No, that's actually the most important thing you can do, and um, it's it's uh, it kind of what it takes us to. I was asked to talk about HOAs. Um, HOAs frustrate everybody. Um, <laughs> Y'all the title people, you laugh at that one. <laughs> it used to be that um, we as a title company were able to request the HOA information um, upfront from the HOA company. It's not that way anymore. You now have to go through a, uh, a property management company. There are three major property management companies, HomeWise, Condo Certs, and Real Property Management. If by chance the closing doesn't happen, your title company may ask your seller to reimburse that. Did I miss anything? No, it was great. Okay. It was great. <laughs> Do I have any questions about you? Scott again with Northwest Hey everybody. Okay. So cyber fraud. I'm gonna talk about it because it keeps me up at night. And if it keeps me up at night, it might as well keep you up at night, right? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I'm not. Folks, we are under attack. Uh, if you have not turned on two-factor authentication on your email account that you are corresponding with clients, this is what I'm going to be talking about in the next hour in the room tonight. If you have no idea what two-factor authentication is, you need to sit through a quick one-hour CE class immediately following this. Folks, we are under attack, and the only thing they're trying to do is get into your email account and my email account. That is it. It is happening every day in our industry. We are losing colleagues daily because they can't afford to have these kinds of losses. In Ohio, we were number three for the, the amount of loss per person that has a cyber attack. It was over $265,000 per attack in the state of Ohio in 2019. That's the average loss for cyber in Ohio. Want to know how to see if your property's been stolen from you? Go to the auditor's website. That's what they're doing. Okay, so what does it say? It says that supposedly all over the country, people are losing their homes because people are filing fake deeds, transferring the property out of their name into their name so that they can go and sell the house or do terrible things or you know borrow money uh and folks I, northwest title has been here for 53 years we have never once seen this occurrence in central or southern ohio never once in my entire career have we seen this there was a rumor in 2010 in uh, outside of Detroit, Michigan, Gross Point, one of the nicer areas. There was a rumor <clears throat> that a snowbird, husband and wife, go down to Florida, they lived there for how many months, they came back to find that their house locks were completely changed and someone else uh, owned their home. It was a rumor. I can't even verify that this was true, but that is the one and only time I've actually heard of someone claiming that their house was somehow deeded to somebody else, listed for sale, and sold. Joe, Does yeah. that answer your question about title lock? And if your clients are concerned about it, you tell them, here's the auditor's webpage, put in your name, search your house, and if you want to go there monthly, I can't imagine what else title lock does for you for $400 a year or whatever the amount is that they charge. It's so ridiculous. 
Joe. Joe. All right, so this is my 20th year in business. I like the song of this one. All right, I think we've got the perfect panel. If you're a lender, stand up. If you're a lender in the room, stand up. Okay? You got a good title. Who's at fault when the shit's not ready? <laughs> Don't go. I'll, I'll take that one. I, I really will take it. It's always us. It's absolutely every every time it's title's fault. Don't kid yourself. We screwed it up somehow at the very end. It's, it's hands down. Don't worry about it. If you want, if you want to who blame, blame us always. Take it. So hmm. it's it's not exactly their fault, our fault. It's we're getting there, but we've we've rushed this because they weren't really ready to close. But we're going to make sure we're ready to close. You wanted to close today. We wanted to close today. Let's fight through this to get it to happen. So it happens always on that rush. There's there's no. I mean that's I can't say that enough. When it's when it's not rushed, it's so clean and easy. It's yeah. It's it's, it's a tighter margin for error when it's rushed. Yeah. And, and to, to your point, Joe, the question Joe and I have talked about this a lot. We as an industry, all of our companies are literally only as good as the information that we have. You know, so, if, you know, and, and also too, the challenges that we as title companies face, and it, it's what we do, you know, as we're happy to do it because we're service related companies. We are, we, we are constantly dealing with agents that do things different ways, and those different ways are typically very efficient for them. And lenders that also do things in different ways that are also very efficient for them. And we are kind of like, we almost have to speak a uh, number of different languages. And uh, we're happy to do it. Like, like I said, I, I think I can speak to all the companies up here. That that's what we do. However, it is the challenge that we have. And once again, Joe, yeah, you're right. It's we are a vessel, and we're only as good as the info that we're given. So that's how the answer yeah, that. And I, I like the empty vessel. I like the empty <coughs> vessel because of this. We are not only just collecting the lender's information, right? We have to work for your contract. So we have two sets of instructions at most every closing. One is obviously the, the contract and then the lender's instructions for waiting on those. But in the other side, what if it's an entity? What if we have to get out of an LLC in order to refinance your home that you have to do personally now? You know, what about the two weeks it takes to get the AG's office to send you a tax lien certificate or, or a payoff? You know, I mean, it's collecting all of that information. Now the attorney wants to review documents and question some of the, you know what I mean? So it's this billowing amount of collection. We are this source of where all of the information goes. We sort it out and get it into a document that we present at the closing table. That's the way I've always looked at it. We're this receptacle, vessel. It's probably better than a tragedy. But, uh, but yes, uh, that is what we do. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I've always wanted to open up a company called Scapegoat Title. That's what I, that was the, the <laughs> Scapegoat Title, that's us. It we'll take part, right? Right. 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 Yeah. I think we're doing that next. Uh, uh, so anyway, I, I think you're right. There are many different pieces. It's not just the lender. Uh, I see mistakes by my team if, oh no, we didn't get the trust documents. We didn't get this. You know, we didn't get that that we have to have to get the closing table. There could be many different delays, uh, but obviously last minute changes is 
especially loan types and entity types, those are ones. Uh, and waiting on payoffs and all the other COVID-related issues we've had with recordings and everything else being slow. That's, that's where you see a lot of problems this year. And we're so busy, we're, st we're trying to stay with each employees because we don't have enough people to keep up with work. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I'm over here giving my card out to title people just to see if anyone's really the job. You know what I mean? It's that bad anyway. So it's it's great. Lock. It's definitely <laughs> employee lock is great. Who are the underwriters? And uh, why is it always the last minute when they find something? <laughs> well, I don't, you're talking about the lenders, this is a different panel. Look, for, for title underwriting, we know pretty much all that stuff up front. You oh, know, I, to I me, got that's, wrong. I'm blaming the wrong. I, I, that's exactly right. <laughs> our, our underwriters are all about underwriting the insurance on it. It's uh, not well, the other well, side. Wait till we get the mortgage. Too. That's exactly There'll be a yeah, panel for that. I do have soon. a serious question for you guys. What kind of drugs do you? Hey, to deal with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> what a great job. We really appreciate it.